All right, welcome to lesson 12 in unit one, of course, to illustrative mathematics. I want you to take a moment to answer the warm up question that says there are 2.54 centimeters in an inch, 12 inches in a foot, and 5,280 feet in a mile. Which expression gives the number of centimeters in a mile? And explain your reasoning. So go ahead and take a moment to answer this question. Pause the video now so you can do so. All right, welcome back. So we're gonna think about this in a simple way. So if we're looking for centimeters at a mile, we're gonna wanna multiply up. So we're gonna wanna find one that multiplies these three numbers together. So there's only one of those that does that, and that's this one. And it's going to be this one because we have 5,280 feet in a mile, and we're gonna try and figure out how many centimeters. So we've gotta multiply that by 12 inches for each foot, and then each inch is about 2.54 centimeters. So when we multiply all three of these numbers together, we can find out how many centimeters are in a mile. All right. Uh, on Google Classroom, there's going to be a card sort activity that you can take a moment to pause the video and go print out. It's gonna look something similar to this. You're gonna wanna have that printed out and then I would like you to pause the video and try to do these on your own and then we'll review it. So pause the video now. Okay, welcome back. So let's start with number one. It said to sort the cards into sets of equivalent scales. Be prepared to explain how you know that the scales in each set are equivalent. Each set should have at least two cards. So uh, one of the first ones we're gonna do is one centimeter to 10 meters. So that would also be equivalent to, doo -doo 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 -doo. Nope, not one to 100,000, but one inch to 100,000, or to 1,000 inches. And that would just be similar because it's one centimeter, 10 meters, one inch to 1,000 meters. And there's one more that it would be equivalent to. And that's one millimeter to one meter. So these are all based off of um, kind of like the base 10. So one centimeter, 10 meters, one inch to a thousand inches and one millimeter to one meter. So this would be one set. Our next set is going to start with one to 96 and equivalent ratios to that is one inch to eight feet or one eighth of an inch to one foot. So these three go into a set together. Our next set is going to have one centimeter to one meter, and that matches up with one to 100. So these go together in one set because there's one centimeter per one. There's one centimeter is representing 100 centimeters in a meter. Then we have our one centimeter to one kilometer, which would also be equal to a half centimeter to 500 meters. So this is just dividing it in half. Half of a kilometer is 500 meters. Half a centimeter is half a centimeter. So those two are equivalent to each other and they're also equivalent to, there it is one to 100,000 because there's, they're on the same scale. All right, and then we have a couple more sets. We have one to 520, uh, 5,280, and that one is going to be equivalent to one foot to one mile because we know in a mile there's 5,280 5, feet. 
And then you should have two cards left of one inch to one mile and one to 63,360. So two just says to trade places with another group and check each other's work. If you disagree about how the scales should be sorted, work to uh, reach an arrangement. So if you disagree about how these are supposed to match up. Now would be the time to try and figure out that. Number three says to record one of the sets with three equivalent scales and explain why they're equivalent. So we can just take, say, let's go with the one put to one mile. And then a one to 5,280. And these are equivalent because they're 500, 280 feet in one mile. All right, you can now put these away. All right, so turn the page now to page 72. We're gonna look at activity 12.3, the world's largest flag. As of 2016, Tiziana holds the world record for the largest version of a national flag. It was almost as long as four soccer fields. The flag has a circle in the center a crescent moon inside the circle, and a star inside the crescent moon. Complete the table and explain or show your reasoning. So I want you to take a minute and see if you can fill in these missing blocks here, and then come back to check your work. So pause the video now to do that. All right, welcome back, let's check your work. So here we have, the flag length, the actual length is 396 meters, and we're using a scale of one to 2,000. So here we're gonna have to divide this by 2,000. So let's go over here, 396 and 2,000. So 2,000 doesn't fit into 396, so we're gonna have to add a zero. So 396, 2,000, it will go in once. And we're going to have 2,000 subtract. We're going to be left with 1960. And we're going to have to bring down another zero. So now we need to figure out how many times does 2,000 fit into 19,600. So 2,000 goes into 19,600 nine times, because 2 times 9 is going to give us 18. So we're going to subtract out our 18,000. We end up with 1,600. Bring down another zero. 2,000 fits into 16,000 eight times. So we have 16,000. Subtract, it zeroes out. And now we've got to figure out, well, where is our decimal place going to go here? Hmm. So this right now is in meters. So it's going to be 0 0.198. And we need to kind of move that over two spaces so that way we get our measurement in meters. So we're going to go over one, two, and our new measurement in centimeters is going to be 19.8 centimeters. Because we had to move that decimal place over to go from meters to centimeters. You can use your reference chart here um, for customary units, metric units, and equal lengths between the two in order to help you determine that. All right, let's look here now at the flag height. So at the scale of one to 2,000, we have 13.2 centimeters. So what we're gonna need to do this time is we're gonna need to multiply it. So I'm gonna use my piece of paper because I used up quite a bit of my space earlier. 
And we're going to do 13.2 times 2,000. So 2,000 and 13.2. So we're going to multiply that. Obviously, these first three are going to be zeros, one, two, three, but two times two is four. We're going to put our placeholder in again. Those first three are going to be zeros. Three times two is six. And we're going to put our two placeholders. And then we have one times three zeros. So we're going to have three zeros again, one times two. And now we can just add that together. Zero, 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 four, six, two. So we have 260 or 264,000, but we need to move it on to that best decimal point. And right now it's in centimeters. So we need to go from centimeters over to meters. So just like how we bumped it over twice here, we're going to bump this over twice over here. So we're going to go one, two, and that's going to be our new decimal place. This time, though, instead of centimeters, it's going to be in meters because it's the actual length. So we're going to have 264 meters. All right, let's look at our last one. So the height of the crescent moon actually is 99 meters. So again, we're going to have to divide that by 2,000. So let's go over here. We have 99, and we're going to divide that by 2,000. Now, obviously, 2,000 can't fit into 99, so we're going to add some zeros. So 2,000 can fit into 9,900 uh, 9, uh, about four times. So we're going to put our four. That's going to give us 8,000. We're going to subtract. We're going to be left with 1,900 and bring down another zero. So 2,000 goes into 19,000 about nine times. That's going to give us 18,000. We're going to subtract and be left with 1,000. Bring down another zero. That's going to give us 10,000. 2,000 goes into 10,000 five times. So then this is going to end up zeroing out. Okay, so now we have this again, it's going to be in meters and we've got to convert this now from meters to centimeters. So we had to add a couple of zeros because it was at 99. So we have 0 0.045495. So we've got to bump that over now two spaces. So we're going to bump it over once, twice, and that's going to give us 4.95 centimeters. And that will complete our table up here. All right, so now we're going to look at some conversions down here. So we're going to complete each scale with a value that makes it equivalent to the scale of 1 to 2,000. So explain or show your reasoning. So let's start with number one. We have one centimeter, two blank centimeters. So if this is a scale of one to 2,000, what do we think this would be? So in this case, we're going to have to multiply this one centimeter by 2,000 centimeters to get the real one because it's staying in centimeters. It's going from centimeters to centimeters. So this one's simply going to be 2,000. Let's look at letter B. We have one centimeter to blank meters. So we're going from one to 2,000. So one centimeter is going to represent how many meters? Well, in this case, we're going to have to divide it by 100 because 100 centimeters fit in a meter. So if we divide 2,000 by 100, we're going to end up with 20. So that would be 20 meters. So again, you would do 2,000 divided by 100, and that would give you the 20. All right, let's look here at C. So we have one centimeter to blank kilometers. So this one, we're going to have to go one centimeter to blank kilometers. We're going to need to take those 2,000 centimeters and figure out how many of those will fit in one kilometer. So a kilometer is very large. If we look here at our chart, at our metric units, one kilometer is a thousand meters, 
and a thousand meters or one meter is a hundred centimeters. So we have to do 1,000 1, times 100, and that is going to give us 100,000. So we're going to need to divide that 2,000 by 100,000. So 2,000 divided by 100,000, and that's gonna actually give us 0 0.2. So, or 0 0.02, so we're going to have 0 0.02 or two hundredths. All right, let's look at the next one. Two meters, two blank meters. So this time it's going to be twice as much as this. So we're gonna to have to multiply this 2,000 by two. So we're gonna to have to do 2,000 times two, and that's going to give us 4,000. So this is going to be 4,000 meters. Let's look at letter E. We have five centimeters to blank meters. Five centimeters to blank meters. So that we, we know one centimeter is going to represent 20 meters, because we have that up here. One centimeter represents 20 meters. We can use that to our advantage over here. So if one centimeter represents 20 meters, we're gonna do five times 20. So five times 20 is going to give us 100. So this is going to be 100 meters. And let's look at letter F. It's switching it around on us now. It wants us to find out what this base unit would be in order to obtain this. So let's look here. We have blank centimeters to 1,000 meters. So blank centimeters to 1,000 meters. So what we're going to have to do now is divide that 1,000 meters by 2,000. And you can kind of think of this as one over 50, or one, one half, because if you have 1,000 divided by 2,000, it's the same as saying one divided by two or one half, which is going to give us 0 0.5 meters, but 0 0.5 meters is actually going to be 100 divided by 2, and that's going to give us 50 centimeters. Or instead of doing this, we can move this over twice and fill in our decimal point. So we would have 50 centimeters. Let's look at letter G. So we're going to go from blank millimeters to 20 meters. Hmm. So blank millimeters to 20 meters. So we know that one centimeter represents 20 meters and one centimeter is 10 millimeters. So then 10 millimeters would represent how many meters? It would be representative of our 20. All right, let's move down to question three. This is gonna bring us back up to the top. What is the area of the large flag? So remember, we use length times width or base times height to find area. So we wanna find the area of the large flag. And in this case, it looks like we're going to use length and height. So it's gonna be 396 times 264. So again, I'm just going to grab my spare piece of paper that I have over here, and I'm going to use this. We're going to do 396 times 264. 4 times 6 is going to be 24. Carry the 2. 4 times 9 is 36 plus 2 is 38. We're going to carry the 3. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3 gives us 15. We need to put our placeholder in. Six times six is 36. Put our six, carry the three. Six times nine is gonna give us 54, plus three is gonna give us 57. 
So we're going to have to carry that 5. 6 times 3 is 18, but if we add 5 to that, it's going to give us 21. Now we're going to need two placeholders. 2 times 6 is 12, carry the 1. 2 times 9 is 18, plus 1 is 19, carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So now we're going to add these up. We have 4. 8 and 6 is 14, carry the 1. 5 plus 1 becomes 6, plus 7 is going to give us 13, plus 2 is going to give us 15, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is going to give us 2, plus 1 more is 3, plus 9, that is going to give us 12. Let's carry the 1. So we have 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 7 is 10. So we're going to have 102,544, remember our unit, so it's going to be meters squared. So now we can go down here and we can write that in. Our area is 102,544 meters squared. Now we want to find the area of the smaller flag. So let's turn, uh, go back up here. We have 19.8 times 13.2. So 19.8, 13.2. We're going to multiply those together. So 8 times 2, or 2 times 8 is 16. Carry that 1. 2 times 9 is 18. Plus 1 is going to give us 19. Carry the 1 again. 2 times 1 is 3, or 2 plus 1 is 3. And then now we're going to put our placeholder. 3 times 8 is going to give us 24. So we're going to carry our 2. 3 times 9 is going to give us 27, plus 2 is 29. We're going to carry our 2 again. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. Now we're going to our 1s. We're going to put two placeholders. 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 9 is 9, and 1 times 1 is 1. Now it's time to add these up. We have 6, and then we have 9 plus 4, which is going to give us 13. Carry our 1. 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 9 is 13, plus 8 is 21. 2 plus 5 is 7, plus 9 is 16. Carry the 1. 1 and 1 is 2, so we have 26,136. Our unit is centimeters, so it's going to be centimeters squared. So we're going to come back over here, and on question B, we are going to write 261. Oh, nope, sorry, 26,136 centimeters squared. Now we're going to figure out the area of the large flag is how many times the area of the small flag? Well, that's pretty simple. We can look over here at our scale. Our scale is 1 to 2,000. So the scale factor for the height is 2,000, and the scale factor for the length is 2,000. So the area of the actual flag is going to be 2,000 times 2,000, or 4 million times the area of the scale drawing. So we're just going to write that down here going to be 4 million times the area. All right, so now we can now go look over at page 73. We're going to look over here at pondering pools. So it says your teacher will give you a floor plan of a recreation center. So it's going to look like this. You're going to have this available on Google Classroom for you to be able to print. So number one says, what is the scale of the floor plan if the actual side length of the square pool is 15 meters? So if we're looking here at this pool, I'm going to grab my ruler. So here's my ruler. And I'm going to do this in centimeters. So if this is 15 meters, 
and this represents three centimeters. We need to figure out what our scale is. So if this is 15 meters, it's going to be three centimeters to 15 meters. And we can even sim simplify that. So we can divide both of these sides by three and end up with one centimeter to five meters. So we want to represent this as both a scale with units and without units. So we could say as either of those, but think about how many centimeters are in a meter. So we have our one of three centimeters to 15 meters. But if we want to do this without units, it's going to have to become three centimeters to what? Or I'm sorry, we can also put our one, meet, one centimeter to five meters. And that might make it a little bit easier because then we can just multiply five meters by 100 because there's 100 centimeters and we'll end up with the scale of one to 500. So this is a unitless scale and it's gonna be one to 500. So number two says find the actual area of the large rectangular pool showing your reasoning. So if we have a scale of one centimeter to five meters, what we can do is now we can measure this. So measure your length and your width and then find the area. All right, so I went ahead and I found my length and my width, and whenever we're trying to find area, we're gonna multiply those together. This is what we're gonna have is, I'm sorry, what is, find the actual area? Yeah, so we're gonna multiply these together. We're gonna have 5.5 times three, 5.5 times three, that's 15, carry the one, it becomes 16, bring down our decimal. So it's 16.5 centimeters squared using our centimeter area. So now we need to go from centimeters to meters. So we're gonna have to multiply this number of 16.5 by what do you think? What are we gonna have to measure that by? Okay, so another way that we can actually do this is we can multiply both of these measurements here by our scale. So if it's one centimeter to five meters or one to 500, we can multiply both of these by five. So we can do 5.5 times five. That's gonna give us 25, carry the two, it's gonna give us 27, bring down the decimal. And then we'll have three times five, which we know is 15. And then we can multiply these two together in order to get the area of the actual model because this is how long it is, this is how wide it is. So now we can do 27.5 times 15, five times five is 25, bring the two, five times 
7 is 35 plus 2 is 37. Carry the 3. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 3 is 13. Now for the 1, we need to put our place value. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 7 is 7. And 1 times 2 is 2. Let's add those together. We have 5, 13, carry the 1, 11, carry the 1, 4. And we have one decimal place. Bring that down. So we have 413 meters square. So 413 meters square. Right, the kidney-shaped pool has an area of 3.2 centimeters squared on the drawing. What is the actual area? Explain your reasoning. So let's look over here. We're going to get a rough estimate. So we're going to look at this kidney-shaped pool right here. We're going to take our measurements. So I'm going to do my length and my width because I just want an estimate length. Oops, you can't see that length, width. So I'm going to find the length of this pool. So let's look at the length of the kidney-shaped pool. Oops, that's in inches. I don't want inches. So it's about, it's like two and a half. Um, so two and a half centimeters. Now let's look at my width, how tall it is. So that's about one and a half centimeters. So 1.5 centimeters. Again, I can just easily multiply these both by five to get the actual area for the full size. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply two and a half times five, 2.5 times five, five times five is 25, carry the two, five times two is 10 plus two is 12. We're going to bring down that decimal point. This is going to become meters. And we're going to do the same here, one and a half times five, so 5 times 5 again is 25, carry the 2, 5 times 1 is 5, 7, and this is 7.5 meters. Now we can multiply those two numbers together to get the area. 12.5 times 7.5, 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2, 5 times 2 is going to give us 10, plus 2 is 12, carry the 1, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. I'm going to put my placeholder for the 7. 7 times 5 is 35. Put my 5, carry the 3. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 3 is 17. We're going to carry the 1. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 1 is going to give us 8. Now we can add these together. 5, 7, 6 and 7 gives us 13. We end up with 9 D, um, 9,375, but we've got to take account of our decimal places. So we're going to put this over three points, or two points, because we have one decimal place here and here. So we have 93 meters squared. So if it were a perfect rectangle, it would be about this area. Okay, so it would be 93.75 meters. Oops, wrong page. 93.75 meters squared, and that's an approximation. All right, for your homework with this lesson, you're going to do pages 75 and 76. And then we're going to get ready for our test. So make sure you're doing the practice sheets, and I will see you next time.